Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Well, here today on Across Louisiana, we're pleased to have join us who you might know as a Southern University baseball coach, Coach Roger Cador, but he's also the 2013 Brotherhood Sisterhood Award recipient. Welcome to the show, Coach. It's always a pleasure to be here. Brotherhood Sisterhood is an organization that we here at Cox obviously have a lot to do with. It, it promotes a sense of community here in the Baton Rouge area and, and building bridges, race, racial relationships, and things of that nature. So it's really a, quite a distinction to get this award. So congratulations. It certainly is. And uh, when, you, when I think about it is that, you know, not, I feel that my players are, over the years deserve to be a bigger part of this because that's what we do. All of the things Brotherhood Sisterhood represent, we try to do it with them. They go out with me. We go out and do community service, and it's a beautiful thing. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, in your coaching career, I mean, on a smaller level, you have to do that every day, right? I mean, you're bringing individuals of various backgrounds together and into a unified team, right? Yeah, we, my kids are all international. We have an international team, and uh, we're a very diverse team, and you have to uh, find a way to bring them as one. So it's a great teaching lesson for me to see how these young people respond and follow the instruction that I try to give them. And whenever you do that, I mean, everybody benefits, right? It, it is, and this is what this country is about. It's a melting pot of a little bit of people from all over the world. And I feel fortunate that I get to work with these kind of young people, and they teach me just as much because you'll be surprised how they ask questions and they're able to interact and give me. I mean. I remember when I played, I could never talk to the coach in a personal way the way these young people talk to me, and it's so refreshing to be able to be in that situation. You mentioned some of your own experience there. I mean, give me a little more of an idea about how, how people bringing communities together and building these kind of bridges have affected you in your life. Well, you know, you, what you first you do is that you find a way to go out there and give back. And it's all about for the less fortunate. The Bible speaks a great deal about how you should help the less fortunate. And this is what I tell my players, that someone helped them, so we're obligated. We're under obligation to give back to them. So we do it, and you see the smile on the kids' faces. It's just priceless. So I know you have a, an exciting fundraiser coming up, the baseball fundraiser. Give us a scoop on that. Yeah, who would have thought that eight years ago when we started at three people, <laughs> and now it's in the eighth year, and it's gotten bigger and better. And uh, it's an exciting opportunity for the community to come out and support another worldwide uh, program. We give some money to our baseball program, and the other money we give to the inner city programs in the city. So the money stays right here in Baton Rouge, and it benefits young people. So it's an exciting time, again, to be a part of this. And this year is going to be at La Burge on November 13th. And we have a lot of people coming in, so it's going to be exciting. So you hear a lot about paying it forward, but you're literally paying it forward, right? Yeah, we, we're literally doing that, <laughs> and uh, I like it. I tell you, it's a lot of work, but you know what? At the end of the day, more joy come out of this than work. Absolutely. You've obviously had, had a successful life and a successful career. What do you think, what do you attribute that to? Well, I don't know if I've had a successful life. I've, I've, all I know is I try to be successful. I try to give back. I try to be happy, and I try to make people feel good about themselves. All of this is my family, my parents. They taught me a good value system that I should do well, do good to people, and uh, always make sure that the less fortunate, you, you work with them. I mean, even back then, even though we had very little, we did a lot. Coach, you're a worthy recipient. Thanks for coming on and talk to us about today. Congratulations on your award. Thank you.